Hey folks, it's Senile Sarge, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Small Land Survive the Wilds. So we've already played through this a couple times. Uh, variants this time, we're going to be playing it solo, and we're going to do it on peaceful. Uh, main focus here, kind of open up the map, get an opportunity to build up uh, some really cool structures. We're going to be skipping around a little bit in the video on purpose. Uh, I think for the majority of the folks that have watched this, you will get some. So we'll be doing some tips and, and tricks as we go through or how to play the game. But really, it's all about having fun. Don't worry, even though it's on peaceful mode, we're going to have to fight animals and other stuff, and we're probably still going to die a little bit. So let's get after it. All right, so we kind of made it through this uh, initial area here. Not really a lot of stuff in there. What we are going to do is we're going to continue to collect as much stuff as possible as you go through the game. So as you can see here, I just picked up some fiber. As you guys start the game, for those that have not played yet, when you see this, the wood, make sure that you guys are absolutely collecting. Uh, you can't press V. So V is going to show you where all the resources are at. You definitely press and hold it. You want to get as much of this stuff at the beginning as possible. Save, save yourself time. Trust me, you're going to need all of this. I know the first time I played, I did not do that. And uh, it definitely hurt me in the long run. That was, uh, it was a bad idea. I don't know why I did it, but I obviously did it. Also with these owls, anytime you see these, for those that first time playing it, go ahead and hit them and, uh, and read them. We're not going to do it today. We've already read through all of these. So we're going to kind of skip through these a little bit. But just know that these are part of the main story. And if you haven't played, it actually does lead to a, a generally good thing for you to kind of understand as you're kind of cruising through the world. So we'll get down here. We're going to continue to pick up as much stuff as possible and get it started. Thus far, I've really enjoyed the game. I think, you know, uh, I was hoping from a content perspective that there was a little bit more that came out uh, out the gate. I, I'm not disappointed or upset at all by any means. I mean, I think this is like my third or fourth time playing through the game. So it's... uh. It's definitely worth it. Some stuff I have not gotten to yet. Uh, and I think it's just mainly because I've been focused on so many other things and so many other games. I just, you know, I didn't get the time to, to really focus as much attention as I should on this one. But we've had good, we've had a lot of fun playing it with uh, other people. I think the co-op's actually pretty good. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I thought that was something. It's a lot of fun to, to play with others, that's for sure. So this will be our first time kind of playing alone on Peaceful. I had not tried that yet. I came in and tried to... Uh, getting fights all by myself and uh that did not work well so i it was a little bit more difficult but fun so don't look don't come in here playing peaceful right off the bat you guys need to be starting off at the uh get punched in the face mode because that's super important okay we got some a little bit of sap here make sure you grab the the sap i know it doesn't seem like you need a lot but you are going to use the crap out of it as we move across let me see what else we've got here i can see some more sap there how much to, oh man i didn't even see those Come on, come on. Keep keep going on my pockets, boys. Okay. Oops. We're going to grab this stuff here in a minute. The cool part about the peaceful mode is like I don't, you know, I don't feel as stressed. You know, it's just feels like so if, if you like to build, you know, you're just kind of coming into the game and that's kind of like your jam. I mean, do it. You know, jump in here. Don't, don't be shy. Look, your friends may make fun of you because you went peaceful mode. Right? You you just lie to them and tell them that you already beat the game on the hardest level. Right? I mean, I know I told you guys that I already beat it on the hardest level, but I, I meant it. I I really beat it on the hardest level. I absolutely crushed this game. I did it also with one finger. I didn't even use my keyboard and mouse, to be fair. I just I just used my words. It was phenomenal. <laughs> I okay, I'm sorry. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Okay, we're gonna run through here. Let's see if there's anything else in here that we need. I obviously could use my my spider sense to see if there's anything else, but that's just too easy. We'll continue to grab this sap here. All right, let's run inside of this little area here and see what these cats have got to say. What was that? Oh, there's a dude in there moving around or something. The elder. All right, basically he's going to say, hey man, there's some stuff in here. You got a clover key. There's a, there's a peanut back here that you may want to go look at. These are all things that he's telling me, obviously. There's a, there's a walnut peanut thing back there that you want to go and you want to touch and we're going to touch it. Okay, we try touching it, we try shaking it, we try punching it, nothing happens. Like, it's just not working the way it's supposed to. So after we've done that, we decide to get the heck up out of here. Because we ain't got time for this. There we go, grab that right there. And I'm out of here, Elder. We'll see you later, buddy. Tell your sister I said, what's up? What up? All right, there we go. Okay, now we'll start moving down into the abyss. Okay, so if I press M just real quick so you guys can see the map. Here's kind of what the map looks like as you kind of start this puppy off. We got a little bit that we'll open up. 
we're probably going to move down here um i'll, I'll explain later why we're going to do that inventory is pretty easy right it's a drag drop system so you can drag it you can drop it you also have the ability if you look along the bottom of the screen you can split the stack you can use stuff you can also drop stuff so there's a lot of that right side health stamina nourishment and temperature you can turn some of these things uh, some of these things can get you in a bad way so it's just really important to kind of watch these crafting baseline stuff inside of your inventory as we build our location that we're going to be at which i believe will be the next episode we're going to we're going to get to our main location that we're going to be at this time and then the next video we're going to get into just like straight up building so between the first and second video i'm going to be out collecting as much stuff as i can so then on the second video we're just going to build and I, what i want you guys to do comment in on this video and let me know what kind of what kind of location do you want me to build do you want me to build like a like a huge flat one story building you want a two story three story what like what do you want kind of give me some ideas to build and we can start that build and that video will probably be out later this week or, or into next week uh because we're going to be having different videos that are going to come out for different games each day uh map we already looked at uh th this area is primarily everything that you run into and you do you can come back here and this is part of the reason why you want to hit these owls because it's going to be inside of here is almost like an area you can go back to so if you're new playing the game trust me you're going to want to make sure that you hit these and then finally you got your codex this, these are the things that are going to open up so once you get your builder's hammer these things will slowly start to up open up as you gather things unique items they're also items are going to open up so pretty important to to make sure that you're doing the right thing here and uh and grabbing as much stuff as you can okay one thing i want to do real quick that thing said i couldn't pick it up now it did okay let's go to crafting we want to go ahead and we're going to get a hatchet let's get that out of the way Okay, I've got to fix some of this inventory because it's driving me nuts already. Yes, I've got a bad case of OCD, as you can tell. Okay, let's put this down here. Put this here. Put that there. Good to go. We're going to throw the health over here. We'll throw food over here. Put them on the back side of our bar. Sap, we'll put in the number two spot. Okay, the other thing we want to go ahead and do, let's go ahead and get a builder's hammer and then a torch. So we'll put the builder hammer number two, the torch number three. Actually, let's move these down just a little bit. We're going to put the club because we got the club too. Just that way. So we've got that. Uh, main reason I did that, you look on the left side so you can see campfire, workbench, simple bed, and simple chest all just opened up because we uh, we crafted that hammer. So the first thing we want to do is get some food. I'm going to get some of these mushrooms. Everybody likes mushrooms. So we're going to grab some of these and then that way we have them. One of the important things is as you're kind of playing through the game, you want to upgrade your weapon type because you see it's taken me forever to cut these down. As you get better weapons, you're gonna be able to, you know, have a much easier time cutting these down. So it takes seven swings or whatever it is right now to cut these down. If I had a better ax, it would only take like two or three. So you definitely wanna be upgrading your items as you get them. Okay, let's come here and look. Look at this world. Look at this. This is phenomenal, right? In fact, we're gonna take, we're gonna take that photo. That's a beautiful photo. Uh, if you're playing with other people, man, like, I, like at first I wasn't sure, you know, like how much fun the, the game would be with others. I mean, it's like, I didn't play a lot of grounded with others. I played a, a lot alone, you know, and that one was interesting to play with other people. I mean, not, not that it was bad with others. Like I haven't played it since they've done the full release though. So it may be, you know, way different than what it used to be. Um, but I found it a little bit more enjoyable alone. This game, on the other hand, I definitely feel like it plays a little bit better having people there. Like every time I've played with people, I've actually had a really good time. Um, and that's even me trolling people. So that's me bringing uh, enemy to people, trying to get them eaten. Uh, I've, I've still had a lot of fun, which is, I, I think that's a good thing. I think the hard part about playing alone is like the animals become, you can get overwhelmed really, really quickly. And although I think you guys would enjoy that, um, cause I know, I know you guys would, right? You guys would enjoy me just getting straight face punched for, for 30 minutes on this area. I, I do want to build something kind of cool and then have kind of a cool chill, you know, video about some of the stuff that we're going to be doing. All right, let's go here. I want to go ahead. We, we want to try to get a, a tame as quickly as we can. I don't know how fast we can get a, get the roly poly. Well, I guess it's not a roly poly, whatever those things. I can't even think of the name right there. That thing over there, you know what I'm talking about? Just post in the comments. Just go ahead and tell me the ladybug. See, I knew that. I was just checking to make sure you guys were paying attention. Yeah, we want to get one of these as soon as we can. That way we can actually carry more stuff because it'll get annoying. 
not being able to carry. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know if we're going to get to that here. I may have to get to it on the next episode. Okay, here, let me grab this. I hear ants. I also hear if you don't look at the animals, they won't attack you. So I think we're going to try that and see if that works well for us. I have a good feeling that we're going to be in a good way. All right, so let's try to go up here. Obviously doing this a couple times. Whoa, bro. Whoa. I'm doing this a couple times. I know where some of the stuff's at. I guess that's kind of cheating, but not all the stuff though. There is areas in this, uh, the game I have not explored yet. So maybe we'll get to those today. Well, during this episode, we'll get to them. I'm going to try to explore the entire thing. And even if we get like five people to watch, and if you guys watch me and you like me, just hit that like button. I appreciate the five of you or six of you that, uh, that watch the video. You guys are awesome. You could be just listening to my voice on the backside too. Oh, got some blueberry. What do we get? Blueberry, bugs, limp, insect, and a mushroom of some sort. Okay, here's another owl. Okay, th this one's telling us that we got magical powers. I know. I get the magical power of seduction. Okay, let's just drop right down here. We're good here. I think I want to try. Can we come? I don't know. Okay, yeah, I think we can. I think we can go this way. This may hurt. Let's see. No, we're good. Wasn't sure if that was going to hurt. Okay, we got some rocks over here. Oh, there's some more fiber. Don't touch the water. You can't even put your toes. If you put your toes in that water right there, like if, if you even look at the water incorrectly, that water will kill you. Uh, this this is one of the things I, I do think that they need to they need to work on. I mean, I should be able to have water up to my up to my net my nether region you know like, like up here up, up okay maybe not that high maybe that's too high but i should be able to put my ankles or in my case cankles i should be able to put those very easily in the water and not die but not in this game if you look at that water buddy you're going to be gone what, what is this did i miss this one okay bows and arrows hit creatures from afar okay good to go all right we'll continue to go this way pick up some more wood and then let's look and see kind of where we are right now. Okay, great. So I think where we want to go is right down here. So we're going to add a marker. We're going to call that home. Because that seems like the right place for us to be. So each one of these are trees. I don't know that we can see one in this current view. Yeah, there goes one right there. So there's big trees right there. Those are the ones that you're trying to get to as quickly as possible. Now, if you look at the very top, it doesn't show. Yeah. I was going to say, you look at the very top, you'll see my tracking mechanism there, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's working appropriately. I'm not sure why that's the case. I see a bottle cap over there on the shore. So we're going to need to go there. Oh, here goes a grasshopper. And what I don't understand with these grasshoppers and these bugs and stuff, so sometimes you'll be cutting stuff down and they want to come and like get in your way. And then they, and then they want to get upset and try to eat me after they got in the way and I hit them. It's like, look, it's not my fault that you got crushed or you got slapped. You shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have gotten away. You know, I still have not figured out what the poisonous mushrooms, if you know what the poisonous mushrooms are for, throw it up in the comments. I probably have used it, but I, I don't remember. I don't remember using the poisonous mushrooms at all. So I don't know if there's some sort of like food we can make with them or something, or if somebody's like absolutely looking for a little yum yum from the old poisonous. And it looks like we're getting down. We need some food too. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna eat twice. Okay, there, there goes one. I do wanna show you guys. So good, let's go three, let's go to our hammer. We're gonna right click. That's gonna open up this menu, right? So inside of this menu, we got the interactive, we have foundations, we have the buildings, and of course, decorations that are gonna open up. And a lot of these are things that are gonna kind of show. What I love about it is if I hover over like the campfire you see up in the top right, then we know we need wood and we need resin. Remember I told you, make sure you're picking up resin as well. That, that, that seems to be like one of the first things that I run out of. And you need lots of fiber, lots of wood also. So in this case, let's go ahead and throw us down a campfire. Oops. Okay, we're going to go off of this one. So right now, I've still got the hammer in, but we're going to move back to the axe. Make sure you do this so that you're not accidentally destroying stuff. 
Okay, we're going to press F. What I want to do inside of here is over to the left side, we got mushroom steaks. So all of those mushrooms that we've been picking up, I want to get that one over here that I have right here in my bar, which is number seven. I want to get that up to 10 of those so that I'm good to go. So let's go here to craft. We can left click. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I cannot believe I can count. I'm amazed with my own self. Now, if I go back to my hammer, I have the ability to dismantle this, right? So I can actually dismantle this fire by simply pressing C. And then you can pick up the goods that you just put down. So again, make sure you switch the weapon back to whatever you had. In this case, we're going to pick up some more mushrooms. Because I just want to make sure I have enough food as we're uh, running across here. And then we're going to run across, get inside of our new home. And then that should be the first video. And then I can't wait for the second video for sure. Because we absolutely, absolutely need to start working on building our house. And make sure you guys comment, man. I'm, I'm stoked. I really want to know what you guys want to see for the house. And I'll do some collecting and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to get too far. I was also thinking about doing a uh, series with one of the community members from Rally Point. It's kind of focused on, you know, this as well. So we, we've had a couple times where we've played together as a community, but I would love to do something a little bit, a little bit more, you know, planned out and stuff like that. So I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on that as well. I, I know I'm telling you guys to comment a lot, which just means that you'll be commenting about 20 times with all the questions that I've asked you to comment on. Okay, so we need to keep going this way. So it looks like that tree right there, that will be our home. The cool part is, this is actually a pretty cool area. Now we got one of them stink bugs down here. Normally you would not be running around like this, right? So like it's peaceful right now. I'm not worried about anything, but these, like these things as a single player, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not like trying to mess with that thing. Okay, let's pick up this wood. Okay, we do wanna, just every once in a while, Make sure you hit this just to kind of see what's around you. I always forget to do that sometimes. And then I just get myself in a really bad place because I don't know what I'm looking for. It looks like there's lots of mushrooms down here. Okay. Now we're looking for the location. Looks like we got some ants underneath us down there. Okay. Come on. Come on. First time. This first time this dude's ever jumped. There you go. Okay, where is the... There it is over there. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go over there. We should be good to claim this. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, if you have a character that you've already played before and you have like houses built and everything, you can go into a new world and then kind of like import that house in. This is a brand new character, so we, we don't have that. We're starting fresh, but you do have that ability if you want. Okay, so we're going to examine this. They're going to tell me, hey man, good to go. You want to claim this tree, right? Because we do. He's going to say, hey, you don't have a tree encampment yet to claim your tree, first tree. We've got to climb all the way to the top. So guess what? We're climbing all the way to the top. And I think we got to go this way. I'm pretty sure this is the direction we're going. I do like that, they, that they've added this in there, right? Like there's a, there's a need for you to kind of climb up. The other thing I think is cool. I don't know if you guys, some of it we'll see in this episode. But some of the locations that like they have on here that you, you can't get to them yet. But you know at some point you're going to be able to get to them. They look so much fun. Like They just look like really good areas that I almost always fall when I'm climbing a street. But they look like great areas to kind of go to. I mean, look, look at this out there. I mean, that is... That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And you know what I just noticed? My camera may have been in the way when I was showing you guys stuff earlier. Nah, it wasn't too bad. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we got to go down here. And then... Yep, we're good. So the good news, now you guys know why I, I said to, to make a torch right off the bat. I mean, I'm not saying I pre-game this, but I may have pre-game this just a little bit. Okay, I think we got to go back this way to then push across and then go up here. I love the updates they've done. Listen, when they get dedicated servers for this thing, it's going to be so good. So like right now, if, if you are playing co-op, you know, one of the things that it's kind of bad. I've kind of, it's, it's on me. It's not on anybody else. But like, if I have to leave early and, and I'm the person that, or, or even if you're the person that's running the server, if, if you have to leave early, you kind of screw everybody because uh, nobody can play on the, on the map. So I'm, I can't wait for them to get the dedicated servers in because I think that that's really gonna create a situation where more people are gonna be playing the game. Cause you don't have to, you know, especially co-op. Cause as I was talking about earlier, you really want to play co-op in here. 
I mean, there are things that you can do without playing co-op. Come on, man. Get up there. This is how I jump also. If you could imagine me trying to play basketball, like like this would be it right here. I just can't get up the side of the side of the thing here. There it is. Which way we got to go here? This way? Okay. Yeah, I guess that was it. They got some cool animals. If you guys... I, I don't know... If, if you finish the game, like if you've done, gone pretty far or already beat it, throw in the comments, you know, like your overall take on the game. I think the, the mounts are pretty cool. I think the only bad, oh boy, I almost fell off right there. Only bad parts of the mounts I feel like is that they're, they're too easy to kill, you know? So like the, you spend all that time getting them and then, and then you lose them. Okay. I want to claim this tree. Bam. Here we go. This is it. All right, so what I am going to do, just real quick, because I've got to build somewhere that I have so I can sleep, right? We're going to go ahead and do foundation. Let's put this up like this. Hold on. I'm going to back it up. Because I, I want to I wanna be able to look out the back door and see awesome. Now, you guys are going to get to choose, right? I'm just going to put this up for now. That's all I'm doing. You guys will have the ability to uh, to choose exactly what we're going to put in place. There, come on. Put that there. Now, what we want here... I wonder if I can... Oh, I can, I bet. Hold on. Come on, rotate. Rotate! Come on, man. Okay, yeah, we can. We can, we can do it. We can do it. Bam. Bam. We've, we've got to be able to walk out. I don't think I have the ability yet to put up. Yeah, I don't. That's fine. That's fine. So we're going to put a middle spot. No, actually, we're going to put it over here on the side. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we have like some windows. So this is this is very easy to... Oh, I put those backwards, obviously. So you make a mistake like that. Basically, you can just go up, hit C, and you, and you can see already that you're going to get the resources back. Press F. I can't believe that y'all did that. It's like y'all's first time building. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we will put, let's put the door in place, right? We're going to put the door in the same side over here. We'll put one window there, and then we're going to put a normal wall there. Okay. Now the roof, the roof is on fire. Can I do it this way? I don't know if we can... There it is. Now, this is a little bit touchy. Hopefully, we can get this thing on there. Now, this is some concentration happening right here. And we obviously messed that one up. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then, is this one the right one? Okay, there we go. Bam! All right, so we've got those up. Now what we want to do is make sure that we put our bed up. This will be one of the first things that you'll want to do. I don't like that people can peek in my windows, but that's okay. They can't see me in the back. You're going to press F to activate the spawn. We're actually going to go to sleep in just a second. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I am 100% I can get up this puppy very quickly. Just in case I need to get out of here. You know, you can never trust people, man. People always trying to get up in your doors. Okay, here's a door. Boop. Then put a door right there. All right. We do have the ability as well. We're going to throw... Here, let me put a... Let's put a fire in here. There's nothing better than having a fire inside of your house. I wonder if we can... Okay, how do we do this? Can I turn this thing? Uh, drag. Oh, you can drag. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how to to do that. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to learn how to do that. <laughs> Okay, what we are going to do real quick, though, we'll put down this last thing, which is going to be our... 
There we go. Put that in place. Make sure I switch weapons, right? That way I don't accidentally catch myself on fire. We're going to go ahead and throw the food in here that we had. So the 13 and those. That way I've got food kind of started. And then we're going to slowly start to work on some of this other stuff and get this stuff. We're going to keep this though, because that's we're, we're definitely going to need that. Uh, we'll keep the fiber for now and the wood for now. And then all should be well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first one. Very quick, got us to our home. You guys can see on the map kind of where we're at right now. This is our encampment here. Part of the reason that we wanted to be down here is because we want some of the items that are here along the waterway, which we'll talk about in the next one. And then of course, we want to be able to go up here. There's some uh, folks that we're going to need to go see. So all of this will absolutely make sense on the next one once we get into uh, get into game. Oh, you can't sleep. I guess, is it daytime? It is daytime. Perfect. Yeah, and you can see the time right here down in the bottom left too. So it looks like we missed the entire night. <laughs> you figured that would absolutely happen. All right, everybody. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys comment if you liked everything and like the video. It absolutely helps. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. See you now, Sarge signing off. Thank <laughs> you.